Am I overreacting when I feel like my boyfriend is cheating again? Last year my boyfriend kept a dating app on his phone and accidentally opened it in front of me. He was exchanging messages with other women and trying to meet up. It broke my heart and I haven't trusted him since then. I've tried countless times, but his behaviors keep raising red flags. He apologized and I did my best to forgive him. Fast forward a month, I find out I'm pregnant. Throughout my pregnancy I noticed that he'd become more distant and has even begun insulting slash disrespecting me. I worked for a hospice company that was very backed up on death charts and I was asked by my supervisor to work on them. My boyfriend knew this, but would constantly accuse me of cheating while I was at work. I couldn't even get my hair or nails done or go to the gym because he'd be asking who I was trying to look good for slash why I was taking so long. I had my location on 24 7 and told him he could call slash text whenever, but it wasn't enough. I was in nursing school and graduated at 7 months pregnant. I worked up until I had to have my c-section and the recovery was brutal. I was studying for boards while taking care of our newborn by myself. In the little time frame that I wasn't working, he would blow up whenever I'd bring up his bad behaviors. He works from home and has cameras installed everywhere. Cameras he won't give me access to. He got a new phone and placed the old one inside of a safe. I would constantly hear it vibrating when I was changing in the closet and asked him about it. He called me crazy and grabbed the iPhone and an iPad he had inside of the safe and smashed them to pieces in front of me, punching a hole through the door as he walked out. He called his family and told them he couldn't take my crazy behavior anymore. They all ganged up on me in person and his mother said many disrespectful things to me and him he doesn't need someone like me stressing him out. I noticed that he's never on his phone in front of me, but immediately appears online on his social media accounts as soon as he goes into the restroom. I asked him about it because it made me uncomfortable and he immediately blew up on me saying that I'm cheating because I keep suspecting him. Before I started working as a nurse, I made less money, but would contribute almost my entire paycheck to help pay for expenses slash rent. I was very depressed and cried because I couldn't take the poor treatment slash constant lies anymore. He opened his safe and threw $3,000 at me while I was sitting on the bed and said, Here, take everything, you fucking gold digger. I work so hard and you just think I'm cheating. I was very confused because I never ask him for money and I always pay for my own things. A few months ago, he agreed not to hide his phone, but is now even more careful with it. I asked him if I can see it and he freaked out slash panicked. He told me that if I ask to see his phone again, I have to leave, but he gets to stay with the baby because I have nowhere to go. He told me that the cameras inside the house recorded me while I was having anxiety attacks slash crying and that he'd take that to court and show it to my family. He saved a video of me trying to move him out of the way because he wouldn't let me leave the house and is saying that I hit him because my nail scratched him. He also called my older brother and told him that he never cheated, that I'm remembering everything wrong, and that I keep trying to look through his phone. I'm very confused as to why he's even contacting my brother. I started working as a nurse and making a lot of money. All of a sudden, he starts spending on unnecessary things and is very broke. I've been having to pay for most things and making all the meals, cleaning everything, and taking on most of the childcare. He suddenly started nitpicking and starting arguments over how I leave cupboards open while I cook, how I fold my laundry, etc. He would bring this up every time I ask about the suspicious behavior and immediately shifts the blame onto me slash brings up everything that has nothing to do with what I'm saying and ultimately tells me that all the arguments are because of me because he's a good guy. I tried getting him to go to therapy with me, but he refuses because he doesn't want to seem like a bad person. I have my own therapist and I told her about how he tells me I'm remembering things wrong, that he never cheated, that he never insulted me. He also stopped having sex with me despite bragging about his sex life in the past and my self-esteem is in the dirt. I literally feel like I'm going crazy and remembering things wrong even though I have text messages to prove that he's apologizing for cheating, that he's calling me awful names, and that he's threatening me. Even looking at the proof feels like a lie to me. I'm so afraid and I don't know what to do. I don't want to be a single mother, but this is ruining my life. I'm starting school again next month and I know it's going to be a problem with him. He doesn't have a degree and is very insecure about me being around other men slash making money. Comment. So, he is aware he is treating you badly, and just doesn't want someone, therapist, telling both him and you that he is being a jackass? Gee, I wonder why. In this whole post, I do not see one good thing about this man. Why are you with him? He is very clearly abusing you, and then gaslighting you when you bring up things to him. He is a trash of a person. 
Why do you want to stay with this man? He insults you, steals your money, cheats on you, and then when you show him proof of him cheating, he somehow turns it around on you and claims that you are cheating? Leave. Why stay with someone who makes you feel so shitty? Who treats you like shit? You can do better, even if that better is being a single mom. Imagine all the stress and worry that will be taken away when you no longer have to worry about him. Seriously, it's time to leave. His accusing is called projection. You are subsidizing his like for him to cheat on you if we want to really boil this down. I hope you have pictures of the phone smashing in the punched hole in the wall. This should help you with custody. Take it from all the Reddit randoms. It was time to end things with this guy a long time ago. Better late than never. Time to figure out how to get out of your lease and look for your own place. Since a child is involved, you definitely want to contact a family lawyer too. Preferably before you leave him but that could take weeks so you could leave before. This is very common. Good luck and I am wishing you the strength to do what is best for you and your child and breaking up with this trash can of a person who is cheating, putting his cock into someone else, on you. I'm sorry I couldn't read the whole thing. But let me see if I understand what I did get through he cheated and then put you on lockdown, monitoring your whereabouts and your fidelity. Why are you accepting that? Forget about all the other red flags I didn't read through, just that part alone combined with the fact you admit you cannot trust him should be enough for you to say you have had enough. Pregnancy is hard enough to do it unsupported and with someone you distrust. Time for you to develop an exit plan. Dump that loser ASAP. Why would you not leave immediately? Can't imagine there ever being good times with this man-child, or he had you fooled real good in the beginning. Please love yourself and your child enough to find someone who loves you both genuinely and make you happy. You both deserve that, and you are young enough to have decades of bliss in your future. Don't settle for something you know won't make you happy for even a minute longer. Leave him and file for child support. Anything else and you will only continue to spiral into depression and victimhood. This is classic abuse and manipulation on his part. Literally textbook. Story 2. I have been in a weird situation with my ex, should I confront him about it? To give some context slash background, my ex and I broke up last March, but we have stayed friends ever since. We ended our relationship on good terms, and mainly because we both had a lot of mental health issues dragging us down that affected the relationship after a bit. We have seen each other a few times since, and chat decently often as well. Recently, he got into a relationship with a different guy. We talked about it and agreed to remain friends as his new boyfriend was okay with this. I personally withdrew from our friendship a little bit, as to not interfere with his new relationship, and he did as well. We hadn't really talked much until a week or so ago when my ex returned from a trip and discovered that his boyfriend had been talking to other guys while he was gone. I offered support if he needed it because I felt bad for him, but I continued to give him space as well. The first bit of odd interaction was a few nights ago when I was out with having dinner and celebrating with my co-workers for my 21st birthday. He sent me a text and we chatted a bit, telling him I was out to eat and such, to which he asked if I had a hot date. I obviously replied no, and nothing else odd really happened after that. Then, a few days ago, out of nowhere, he asked me if he could call me. It was sort of late at night, but I was on my break at work, I work nights, so I agreed since I knew he was going through a lot. I don't know what I expected out of the phone call, but all it ended up being was him just checking in, basically things he could have texted me, as well as him telling me he was going to call me on my birthday but got sidetracked due to Thanksgiving celebrations and such. The phone call culminated in him asking if I had gone to what used to be our go-to-drink spot lately, to which I said no because I haven't been. He then proceeded to ask me if I wanted to go with him later in the week. I wasn't sure if he had broken up with his boyfriend at this point, so I played it safe and asked him if it was okay slash weird of us to go if he was still with his boyfriend, to which he told me something along the lines of that he didn't care what he though anymore due to his boyfriend talking to other men. He also said that he missed me but went on to clarify that it was only in a platonic way. I feel like the latter portion wouldn't have really needed clarifying, as I would have honestly automatically assumed that anyways. I probably shouldn't have agreed to go out of respect for his boyfriend, even with all things considered, but I did anyways. Fast forward, we get to the drink place and hang out a bit. He let me drive his new car, which wasn't weird to me because he got the same model of car I am planning to purchase soon, and we're both car guys as well. After, we went and got our drinks and just caught up basically. He began to get into the situation with his boyfriend, and told me a few details before he stopped because he said he felt like he was sounding whiny. 
I told him that I didn't mind if he needed to vent about the situation, but not to feel pressured to do so. One point from that conversation that I will mention is that he kept saying he didn't really know if he should break up with him or not. We ended up chatting a little more, and nothing else really happened until I came back from a restroom break, when he proceeded to move from the armchair across from me, to the armchair next to me. His reasoning was that he was tired of yelling, and to be fair we did have to kind of talk loud because the chairs were far apart, but it was still odd because I don't even know that I would do that with any of my close friends, let alone my ex. We chatted some more, and somehow we got on the topic of Tinder and our luck on there, to which I mentioned how I didn't enjoy the app and such, and hoped that if I ever met someone it would be in person. He replied with something along the lines of that I'm sure I'll find the right person someday, I just need to wait slash look closer. We chatted for a bit more and nothing else really happened, and parted our separate ways after. Now I'm at home and I'm feeling a bit confused. On one hand, I felt like he was trying to express feelings for me in a weird way, especially given that he is on the verge of a breakup with his currently boyfriend, but on the other hand, he could have just genuinely wanted to hang out with me, especially given his current relationship situation. I've considered asking him about this directly but I don't want to risk an uncomfortable scenario if I really am misinterpreting this situation. I should also add that I don't really know how I personally feel about this situation either, at least in regards to feelings towards my ex and such. I don't feel negative or positive about it, just very neutral slash unsure. If anyone has any thoughts on this they would be gladly appreciated.